What's going on guys, Jonathan here with TLD. This is a little bit different. I know we usually cover the consumer tech stuff. Uh, a lot of you guys know I do do the music side of it. So this is something that really uh, was cool to me. I'm stoked with it. So you guys have uh, iMacs, MacBook Pros, uh, Universal Auto, just a quick overview. They make sick plugins, uh, preamps and stuff like that. So we got Lev, he's actually the senior product manager. He's gonna show off this uh, new device for you guys. How's right it going, on. man? Dude, really great. Thanks for uh, covering us, we really appreciate it. Uh, like you said, we're really well known for making the best analog emulation plugins for all the audio software applications that are out there. Uh, up until now, we've been limited to the PCIe machines, the big tower machines. Yeah. What we've announced at the show is we have a Firewire 800 U82 product. It's the U82 satellite. So you guys, that's awesome for you guys because before you were limited to uh, Mac Pros, some of the older MacBook Pros uh, they had the Express set, right. but now since Steve Jobs don't care about that no more, uh, <laughs> kind of left some people in the dust. So this is for iMac users. Most of the MacBook models, uh, he's going to tell you guys a little more about that. Right, so you know, when you look at you know the, the laptops, the iMacs, Mac minis that are out there, they've all got FireWire 800. There's only a couple models that don't. And so it means that anybody with that machine who wants to do production on the go, or maybe that's their primary music making machine, they can now run the full library of U82 plugins. So anything like the Studers, the Manleys, the Neves, all these classic emulations that we've done can now be run on an iMac. And what we've got here is just that. We've got the Neve channel strip, the Solid State Logic, or the SSL channel strip. We've got our newest plugin, which is the Studer 24-track multi-channel uh, tape machine. It's winning all sorts of awards. Everyone's really, really digging it because it's accurately modeling a 24-track tape machine. It's about yay tall, that big, and it sounds amazing. And we've got it now perfectly emulated in a plugin. So, so for those of you who don't really know about this, Sorry. Uh, essentially, this is going to help take some of the stress off of their computer. That's right. So. We do we do two things with this product, and this is the box right here down in the corner. It'll do two things really well. It'll take all of the CPU processing off the computer because we have DSP in the box that handles that. And the other thing that it does is we have higher quality algorithms than you'd find yeah. natively on the host. So it's really a bang for the buck thing. Cool. Also, one thing I really thought was cool uh, was the fact that they do have multiple FireWire inputs. So if you guys have uh, external hard drives for scratch disks or you have a FireWire 400 interface, they do accommodate that. Right. Uh, so you want to mind telling them a little more about that? Yeah, totally. So we've got three FireWire ports on the back, two FireWire 800 ports, and then a FireWire wire 400 port and you can use any of them to either connect to the computer or daisy chain so that all totally works and we know that a lot of our customers are using those products and we wanted to make sure it all works so you get a nice hub on the back cool well you guys saw it right now this is kind of one of the coolest things uh, i've seen at nam so far i want to thank lev for his time uh, we're going to jump to a couple of audio clips so you guys can see the difference of on and off uh, and really what it does to the sound right on thank you so much Shape it, if you face it. 